So now that we know our way around the piano roll a little bit, it's time for us to start digging into the more advanced tools that we can get into. And there's plenty of different options for us to look through here. So first off, let's take a look in our piano roll options. And you can see in the tools section that there are numerous different options for us to pick through and use in our workflow. But just to simplify even further, we don't even have to go to that piano roll option drop down. We can just click on this little tools icon here and that'll take us to the same menu, and you'll see all the same tools. And we're going to skip over Riff Machine for the moment, because that's a little bit more in-depth, but we'll get into that soon. But for now, let's move on to look at the Articulate and Quick Legato tools. And to get an idea here, I wrote out a few notes in another pattern, and we can kind of see how they are differently overlapping each other. Like this chord has one note on top that's shorter, the second one is just three notes that are the same length, and then there's three consecutive notes. And then there's those same three notes that are overlapping each other by a little bit. So to compare what the articulator is going to do to these, I'm going to just copy these piano roll notes by right-clicking on the channel here and hitting copy and then pasting them onto the 3x OSC piano roll. And then I'll just click there to bring up that one. And if we highlight and we just move them up, we can see the ghost notes under them. And since the notes aren't really important just for the demonstration, I'm not going to worry too much about that. But we can see the different durations of the original and then our edited notes. First thing to point out is that these tools will operate on a selection. So if you just have a certain amount of notes selected, it will perform the operation on just those. Or if you have none selected, it will work on all of the notes in the piano roll. But for now, we're just going to work on all of them, so I'm not going to make a selection. But I'll go up here to the tools, and I'll select articulate. And that'll bring up this piano roll articulator window. And we can see the differences that it made by default to these notes and made them all adjacent to each other. And then it also cut out any of the overlapping parts of these notes if they didn't start at the same time. But if we look over at our options, we can change those to do separate things. Like if we change the multiplier, that would just multiply the length by a percentage. So we can bring it all the way down to 10% of the original length that it made it. Or we can change it to whatever percentage in between. Then there is this gap knob, which can give us a one step gap between the notes. As we can see in the hint bar, we have between zero and one step gap that we can add in with this knob. And then we have the variation knob, which will just add variation to our notes to whatever degree you set it. And this is a random variation, so you can change the seeding of that random pattern by any of these arrows, and that'll give you a varied variation of randomness in the duration of the notes. You can also select this Chop Chords option, and what that will do is, for these overlapping notes, we can see that it will leave the chopped point as opposed to chopping that off, and then you'll have chords for this little section here as opposed to individual notes. Then there's also a Use Lengths option that will preserve the lengths that you originally set the notes to, and you can also edit the lengths at that point, and it'll be a multiplier or have a gap. And if you click on this little arrow here, you can set a few presets for this, basically. And those will just give you a little bit of a starting point for some of these settings, if you want to do it by preset. And then you can tweak them to your desired amount. And then you could just reset it if you wanted to set it back to normal. But if you don't want to go through any of those options and you just want to do a quick little change to it, you can go up to the tools and just hit the quick legato. And what that'll do is automatically do the legato preset, basically, which is the default version of the tool. So I'll hit Control z to undo that. And you can see, again, these shortcuts for both of those right here. Control l for the quick legato and Alt-L for the articulate. And those can be helpful tools for when you're trying to articulate a number of notes that you might have drawn in that might overlap each other or do some strange things that you don't want to have happen. But that'll just be the start for our looking at these tools, and there'll be plenty more where that came from as we move forward. So I hope you enjoyed learning about the articulator and what it can do, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video when we will go over snapping to the grid and the quantizing tools. So I'll see you then.